You've probably seen liquid before, and there are a bunch of different kinds from water to oil to coffee. Now, have you ever stuck a magnet on your fridge? Right as you're about to stick it on, you can feel the attraction, but most of the magnets you've seen have probably been solids. So you must be wondering, what do magnets and liquids have in common? Well, that's exactly what ferrofluids are. Even though ferrofluids are liquids, they're still attracted to magnetic fields. Ferrofluids were discovered in 1963 by Steve Pappel, a NASA scientist. He originally intended them to be used for rocket fuel in space. Astronauts could manipulate magnetic fields to move the liquids where they needed to be. Bare fluids are composed mostly of oil with small particles, 10 nanometers in diameter, of solid metals inside of the liquid. Even with the force of magnetism, that doesn't explain why fair fluids look so weird. Why are there spikes on it if it's a liquid? Well, there are three key forces that play a part in the shape of fair fluids. Magnetism, surface tension, and gravity. When a magnet is placed above fair fluids, the liquid is pulled up towards it. Even with surfactants, surface tension still pulls the magnetite together, so it is still concentrated at the center. Gravity, which is the attraction of objects to Earth's core, pulls the solution down, which causes the fluctuation of heights in the spikes. Altering even one of these forces changes the way in which fair fluid looks. It looks really cool online, but even cooler in person. This is the Near Call of Science's fair fluid magnetoscope. If you turn the cranks, the magnet moves closer or farther from the liquid. The result is super cool designs. If you want to see this exhibit in real life, make sure to come down to the Near Call of Science to check it out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. And as always, if you have any science topics or questions you'd like to see in an upcoming Nightside video, let us know in the comments down below. And make sure to subscribe and keep learning with us.